Hello and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. My name is Legion and today I'll be taking you through how to install our new Australia pack. Now this will go ahead and replace any AI aircraft in the game with whatever you set the settings to. Now this can be configured to go outside of Australia so you're not stuck with just these liveries. However, I will walk you through how we do that. So as you can see here we've got Virgin, Jetstar, another variation of Jetstar as well. Now we also have Qantas, Tiger and a few other airlines here. Now not every airline will spawn at all times, it is very random as such. So you can see here we've got the older Virgin Blue skin and then just over the other side here we have the new and current Virgin Australia skin. Now as you can see these aircraft will continue to spawn and unfortunately due to the way AI is set sometimes there can be some visual errors. Now none of these will have tail numbers on them and sometimes you may appear to get a, a black box at the rear of the fuselage. However, most of the time you can either resolve this by just pressing start and pressing it again and it will basically reload your game for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is head over to our file manager and I'll show you how we install this pack. So I'll see you over there. Okay, so here we are in our file manager. You can get this up by pressing Windows E on your keyboard or going down and clicking your little folder icon here. Now today we need to go to our app data. If you are using the Game Pass edition, you may need to go to percent local app data percent. So for us today, I'm on the Steam edition, so I'll go to percent app data percent. And then of course, once we're here, we get a bunch of folders. Now the one we're looking for obviously is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once here, we want to go into Packages. Now the package I'm providing you with today actually comes with all of the community files set up. So here I'll go ahead and I'll show you how the Australia pack will look. Now you can see here Packages, so you can actually go up one folder if you like. Uh, so if we go back one here, you could actually just drag and drop it into this area and it will merge with your Packages folder. If you don't want to do that, just go into Packages get the community do the same thing okay so that is the easy way to do things now adding it to an existing pack is a little bit more tricky so what we want to do today is as you can see here I've got the Oz pack merge files with the MSFS mega pack you want to go ahead and open that after you've downloaded it now I'm not going to download it again because obviously it's already on my computer and installed but I'll just walk you through how we do it Okay, so you'll come to two folders here. One says place inside the deliveries A320 folder and the other says place inside the A320 folder. Now the reason they sound so confusing is because they can be. Okay, so what we do is go into community and you'll see here, this is our deliveries A320 folder. So once inside here, this would be where this one here would go. So if I open that up, you'll see a layout.json file. You just wanna get that and copy it into this area here. You can see I've already got mine just here. Okay, what we want to do now is go into the A320 folder. So you just go up one level again. Now this contains all the model files that we'll need for the game to know what we want to be AI and not basically destroy your computer. Because what happens at this point is if it's loaded as a loaded as a generic model, it will actually load the full cockpit interior and everything, which is something you don't need because it will put more strain on your computer and may cause performance issues. So what we're doing with these, once you've downloaded it, you just grab all of these files, including the one just down the bottom here, once it gets me to the bottom, there's quite a few here, the aircraft CFG. So you just grab the whole lot of them, go over to your A320 folder, go into sim objects, airplanes, Asobo A320 Neo, and as you can see mine are already in here but you would just paste those files in here now once that's done what you can do is go down here to your aircraft.cfg as far as the current skins go I believe we're on version 7 we will be on version 8 later in the week I believe but this will come to show you obviously what we need to okay so what I'm going to do here is we're going to explain exactly what some of these values mean okay so this is obviously your default A320 Asobo file so we don't want to touch this this works it's there I have had some issues when I've disabled it however just leave it for the sake 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll through my file. You can do this whatever speed you like, just to show you a couple of things. So in the file, you'll notice that some titles will say here, title equals Airbus A320, and of course, the skin type, which in this case, it's Neo Sordia, and then it says AI. Now this is because it's loading an AI version of the skin without the cockpit and all the crazy stuff that's going to destroy your frames. Okay, so with the model file here, if you're adding an additional aircraft, you will need to update the model file to match whatever you need to have here. So in this case, the, our file is AI for obviously being an AI aircraft. And then in this case, it's SVA. And you can see here from the texture. So the easiest way to do this is just to put AI in front of whatever texture you're using. Now the texture file doesn't need to change because it's only for a look. It's not spawning the interior because our model file is telling it not to. Okay, so we go through here and fill in what we need to in terms of, of course, your ATC ID. So this would be the number that's printed on your tail, as it mentions there. Of course, you have the option here to enable and disable a tail number. Basically, zero is no, one is yes. That's how it works. Now, of course, we can go down here to is air traffic. Now, this would be if you wanted this livery to be on your AI. So, for example, like we were then in Sydney, not every aircraft was showing. If you wanted this aircraft to be a part of what could show, you just simply want to change this to one. Now, as for is user selectable, make sure you don't do that with an AI model because it will load incorrectly and you'll probably end up in a cockpit with no textures and most likely not be able to see out the windows either. So that goes the same for all the AI files, but if we go up just here a little bit higher, you'll notice we begin, begin to come into the other skins. Now in this case, I'm just going to search for Qantas. So if I press Control F on my keyboard, and then we just type in Qantas. Okay, so you can see here, it's taking me to an AI link. This isn't the one that we want, but you can see the same principle applies because you saw it in my game, is air traffic is set to one. So that is, yes, display this. Is user selectable, set to zero. Now what that means is that this model will not show in my hangar or my livery selection. Now you can go through and set as many liveries as you like to on or off, depending on how you'd like to go about it. I personally only have the Australian ones selected as that's all I tend to fly. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to quickly search through until we find the proper Qantas file, which you can see here. So for me, it's flight sim number 50, which is basically an array. So this, this is aircraft number 50. So in this instance, if you were adding an additional aircraft to the kit and this was at the last, you would make sure that when you copy and paste this whole section to alter what you need here, you make sure you go up here and set whatever number to the next in line. So if this was 50 and you put yours down here, you would make sure to set it 51 like we've got there. Okay, so what happens here is with the model, we want to take away the AI version because that will mean that it will load it correctly in a HD version for us to see, not for the AI to go and waste our resources. Okay. So once you've done that, the texture file will still remain the same as whatever the last one is because they both need to see the images. It's just the only thing that that configuration file changes in terms of the model is what you render. So whether you'll render a cockpit or internal lights and so on. Okay, so we go through and set up everything that we need in here. Of course, you can set down here is air traffic to one or zero. Now, I wouldn't recommend setting this to one on an active title, meaning a non-AI version, because it will destroy your frames significantly. Okay, so is user selectable? Now, this comes down to whether or not you want to see it in your hangar and your livery selection. Now, for me, I only have about five or six aircraft with this option enabled, because I like to be able to easily flick between the skins that I like. Now. Just note in return with this is user selectable and uh, air traffic, it is regardless of the values here. If someone else in live traffic were using that skin and it happens to match this ICAO code, it will actually display it. Now, if it doesn't display the right skin, most of the time you can fix this just by pressing start on your uh, controller or 
escape on your keyboard and then press it again and load back into the game and it will refresh the skin most of the time it will pick it up but there is a bit of a bug at the moment sometimes it won't okay so that's basically it for the install and how to set up your garage for today if you'd like to go ahead and put in extra aircraft as such you will need to go ahead and create new model files so what I'll do here I'll show you just a template of one of the model files so let's just scroll to the top of our aircraft files okay so let's just use uh, let's use Jetstar for example so if we open up the model.ai Jetstar you'll notice it has a model.cfg in here now this shows you exactly what I was talking about so it says with the exterior show interior which is false because we don't want it to render any of that with the exterior show interior hide first LOD so basically this is the viewing distance of the aircraft so we don't want to hide that initial viewpoint so you set that to false as well with interior force first LOD false because we don't want to force it and interior show exterior is also false now all this will be in one of the files so you can actually just copy and paste this to however many files you wish to add and then of course for the actual live model it comes up where these would actually be true in that file so I'll show you here the difference if we just go back down to our file manager here and let's just go down here to one of the jet stars that don't have uh, that one let me just find it here uh, model If I go into this one, you can see I have another model.cfg file. Now you notice this also has an interior file added to it, and all these are set to true. So this means that it's going to load the nice look for us, and for the old one, it's just going to load a basic one to give us that appearance. Now that's all you have to do for that. Once you add them into there, you just want to make sure that in your JSON files, you go through and uh, if we go up the top here, let me just take you up there. You just want to make sure that you add this in here so you can copy and paste this from the existing one and alter it so it's the same as adding any other texture to your aircraft so make sure it's sim objects slash airplanes slash whatever your model is because you can do this with other airlines and then where it says here the slash model dot aal in this case this would be uh for example if it was ai it would be model dot ai dot whatever your oh sorry not dot model dot ai whatever your texture is forward slash model dot cfg now if it was a basic model as well you would then have the same although instead of having AI at the start you would just have for example in this case AAL now that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up a comment and remember to hit the bell and subscribe and if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comments below or drop by the discord and I'll see you in the next one